China is one of the largest countries in the world, and its soccer is just as big. Sunday, October the 27th, Chinese Super League, Genzo Evergrande, Hinan Jianni on One Soccer. All right, welcome back. I'm Asa Raymond, joined by the commissioner, David Klanekin. Uh Looking ahead into 2020 for the Canadian Premier League, uh, what should fans be looking forward to? Well, I think you're going to see more of the same, uh, but but even at a heightened level, I think the clubs are now they've 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 kind of hit their stride, mm -hmm. and and you see some great great play. Yeah, you know, I I think uh, you know there are times throughout the season. It, you know, when you look at the standings, it doesn't always look that way. But I actually feel like at, at, on any given Saturday, you know, at, uh, any any club could beat another club, and so. Uh, you know, there's been a couple clubs that have done very well. Obviously, Forge FC and, and Cavalry FC have done well, and that's why they're in the finals. But, yeah. but you know, then again, I've, I've I've seen some great games against some of the other teams uh, against the, even those two clubs. So, I think you're going to see more of that, and I think we'll see even greater skill level uh, because, again, you know, they're now now we're going to have a number of players that are second year professionals. Yeah. You mentioned uh, teams coming on in the last few weeks of the uh, fall season. But Forge and Cavalry have separated themselves from the pack. Uh, have you thought about changing the formats and maybe creating a playoff format for next season so that maybe two plays three uh, for a chance to play in the finals? Interesting idea. Hmm. We haven't got into very much discussion around it, but I can tell you that the prevailing thought is no. I mean, we're, we, we've got a long season. We've got a lot of things in between, but whether it be CONCACAF, whether it be the Canadian Championships. And we've got those shoulder months where it gets awful cold in, yeah. uh, in October in, in, in this country and certainly in the early in the spring. You never know what you're going to get, what card you're going to dealt. So we've got to be careful. We, 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 we like what we're, how we're doing it. And we've been following, for more or less following the European or FIFA model, I'd like to say. So not really, not, don't want to get into the playoffs. We, think, we actually think that the, the teams that actually run along and do well throughout the year, uh, the cream should rise to the top and mm -hmm. they should be the ones that are are in it to the to the last sure. right um expansion something that uh yeah. all the fans everyone is uh, is asking about and that's got to be a good thing right they want yeah. more everyone wants more yeah. uh, what's the status of an eighth team well, coming you, into the league if i could if i had a dollar for every time somebody about asked me about an expansion <laughs> i could retire again um but uh but uh no it's we've got some we've got some really quality groups at this point in time from different parts of the country and uh, you know the problem that I run into is we still you know there are and there are some municipalities and some regions that are starting to step up and help a little bit, but finding the right places to play uh, is the hardest part. When when somebody walks in the door, we, we've got had some great groups, but again, it's when you ask the question, where will you play? That's where uh, you know that's the longest pole in the mm -hmm. tent, so to speak. So so we're still we're racing, uh, but what what but the clocks are running out on us for for 2020. But we're trying as hard as we can. But having said all that, uh, there's some quality groups, uh, three, four groups that are that are kind of front runners mm -hmm. on this. So I think there's there's lots of time for this. We can we'll, we'll grow into this the way we need to. Uh, there's no doubt that an eighth an eighth team is is important to us because that balances schedule yeah. and and lets us do some things that way. But uh, but there I think there's the log jam will break very soon here. You said the clock is running out. It hasn't run out yet. Who are the front runners? Uh, well, to possibly join in 2020. Well, there's there's uh, there's 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 certainly there's some team a couple of teams out west that potentially could happen. There's obviously something towards the east. Uh, we're, we, we've not been in uh, you know we've not been in Quebec yet. Love to bring that province into the CPL for sure. Uh, certainly, it, we're coast to coast, but we're not in every province yet, so we got to work on that mm -hmm. a little bit more. But you no, know, there's some great there's some great teams. You know, I, I, at the very least, I'd like to make some announcements in the next next little while about okay. some some potentials, and so I want to keep that for another another show. Sure. Uh, the Ottawa Fury has uh, everything in place. Uh, how close are they? Well, Have they shown interest? Yeah, and, and, uh, and, and Ottawa is great. They're great. They're a great group, right? I mean, you know, I think that there's. There's been lots written and said about it, but you know, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I love, I, you know, Adrian and, and Mark that, that run that club and run the football business and the hockey business there. They're great people. Um, at the end of the day, uh, and Julian as well. Like, but at the end of the day, they, they're in the USL. They, they've got to, they've got to decide that they want to come. Uh, we've done everything that we can. We've, we've made, you know, we, we've tried to make, a, uh, you know, the right offer and, 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 and adjust to what they need because recognizing they'd be coming from another league. I think eventually they'll, they'll want to come. I think I. 
truly believe that it's really not, you know, we need a, can a Canadian team playing in the Canadian Premier League mm -hmm. in our nation's capital, right? Sure. And so, so I think that'll, that'll happen, you know, uh, at one point, uh, you know, I'm hoping it'll happen with the Ottawa Fury, but otherwise we have to be there. I mean, uh, the people across the country are telling us that. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, when you look at Ottawa, Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto, Halifax, Winnipeg, there's great rivalries there. Yeah. We know that that exists already, right? So we, we're, we're gonna keep working at it yeah. and, uh, and uh, we'll, hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. How important is it to keep players in the league? We've already seen a couple from Valor uh, leave uh, yeah. their, their club, uh, how important is it to keep them? And are you concerned that players will be leaving in the off season? Well, there's, I think, I think you're gonna get some of that. I, I, I think some players will leave. That's, that's the nature of the game, right? I mean, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's, they're, they're, they're a traveling band, right? Like, I mean, uh, that's what, what, that's what happens. Having said that, you know, there are, you know, the players, there are some players that are really settling in here. They love it. They're fan favorites. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, all of that's there. Uh, I, I also believe too, that people are looking at our league today. I, I don't believe it. I know it. They're looking at our league and they're looking at some of our players and saying, hmm, we maybe would like to attract them to come over to Europe and play over in Europe. And the, that's that's an, again a validation of what we're building here. Right. Uh, we we shouldn't. Uh, uh, that's not something I, I I'm I'm afraid of. I think that would be nothing better than to show a positive mm -hmm. for what we're we're doing in in this country with the game. Is there a, a league that you'd like to model the CPL after? Oh no, there's a man, there's a number of leagues, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, uh, it would be ridiculous of me to say that I'd like to be like the top five, like top big <laughs> yeah. five, right? But uh, no, I think, you know, when you look at what's going on in Europe, I make, uh, I've made no bones about it. We in this country would love to see, by the time we get to the 2026 World Cup, I'd love to be in a position to be able to have a second division where we could then start having promotion relegation because I think it is something that, that, that our game globally allows to happen that doesn't exist in any other sports yeah. business that I know of. Uh, and so it just adds another level of excitement and it brings even smaller communities into the whole into mm -hmm. the whole mix of it and and it it, it adds uh, it adds a different element and, and dim dimension to the game yeah it's something you've brought up in the past how important is that to you and uh, uh, why is it so important for you well I think it's it for me it's important because it, 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 it introduces that David versus Goliath story it also allows other communities to start wrapping their arms around things things about uh, that their clubs it, it, you know and it and it, 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 and it it takes the game and drives it to another level right uh, so I think, you know, and, and, and again, this is all about a pathway, mm -hmm. right? And w when we were younger, when I was younger, there wasn't a pathway. Yeah. And so now creating that pathway, and we're not done yet, mm -hmm. but we've, we've put a big piece of that bridge in place, right? But uh, we've, we've, we've put a goal out in front of people. And I think, and when you get that and you do that, then you're going to get more and more play in the game, right? Yeah. And today, uh, you know, our game of football, soccer is the fastest growing sport in the country. It's, you know, there's, there's almost twice as many people playing football in this country, soccer, than mm -hmm. there are playing hockey. Yeah. And, and so we know the game is growing and it's growing both with the female and males. And yeah. so that's a, that's a wonderful place to be in. But you need to ha create an infrastructure and a club structure and everything else to do that. And, and so that's part of uh, our goal to do that. All right, in conclusion, what's the mission statement of the Canadian Premier League? Well, uh, our mission statement, like, we, I look at, we are many, we are one. Yeah. We, we need to be all inclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to engage. We need, we need to, we need to uh, earn, our, earn our right to be here and, and develop great Canadian talent, great Canadian uh, talent, and, 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 and be entertaining. We really need to be entertaining. And at the end of the day, hopefully, we also contribute and, and, and create some great Canadian players for our national team. That's a, that's a big thing for us, too. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much, David. I Thank appreciate you. you coming on. Thanks very much. And chatting about the league. It's been good. Thank you. There's a league that's getting bigger.